Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to take a look at the Vermabag Max. Now, it has been 27 days since our last update. We are going to do a harvest this time, and I'm going to try to harvest this bin more frequently. Now, with that, we are going to do, as we did with the Urban Worm Bag, we're going to add in a lot of cardboard to try to build up that material again, and we're going to add in a layer of wet cardboard that has been soaked with lactic acid bacteria. I think that's how you say it. Um, and this, this is homemade lab mix, and I'm just trying to put this in some of my bins to build up some bacteria in there. That's going to be soaked into this cardboard right here, and that's what we're going to do. And then we're also, of course, going to add a large feeding probably to this as well, a big surface feeding as we did on the Urban Worm Bag. We're just going to kind of test these out side by side and see how they do, since they have uh, similar worms, you know, Euros in one, Reds in the other. But, uh, you know, they have the composting worms that we use, uh, not the Africans, which are maybe a little bit different as far as the the aspects that they like, they seem to like that cardboard a little bit more than the food I have found. So with that, let's go take a look underneath and see how the system is doing. All right, so here we are with our Vermabag Max here at the bottom. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna open this up and oh, go around the other side. There we go. Dump this out. There's a little bit of water in here. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see in there pretty well. Actually, I think I might rotate this bin this way. So I have a little bit more room here. It's a little bit moist down here. I'm going to go ahead and put on my glove now. Some of the material that came out of here. It's a little bit more soggy than expected. I didn't expect there to be a lot of moisture down here but it's very compact. I can tell that this needs to start being emptied. So we're gonna go ahead and start doing that, just pulling it down. Already found a shell here. It's pretty broken down, but I'm gonna keep going here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda of hug this bag a little bit around the sides, try to compress that, all the stuff towards the middle, and try to get it to come down here. I knew that this bag was pretty full and I've been really putting off emptying it. But this, I mean, this material down here looks actually really good. It's a little, I mean, it's, I'm not seeing any worms in it right now, but let's just, I mean, if I squeeze it, it holds some shape, but it still flakes apart. This is perfect moisture content, really. Um, the, only the bottom was really, really wet. Other than that, it's really perfect. Um, all right, let's just see what we can get out of here, though. This bag is very, very compacted at the bottom. I probably should have been harvesting this more, harvesting more often. And we're going to start doing that, I think, in the future here. I think I'm going to try to harvest more frequently. Again, I'm just trying to... What I'm trying to do here when I push in on these sides is get the sides to move towards this center section and fall through. Because a lot of times when I'm reaching up in here, I'm making a cylinder in the center, and then the top can fall down. And that's not really what I want to have happen. So I'm just trying to kind of squeeze the bit a little bit. Give it a couple taps, get it to kind of loosen up from everywhere. Look at that. All right. Get a little bit more coming out of here. This is going to be a really good harvest, it looks like. Really good looking material. Some of it's still not broken down, but that's some of the harder stuff like peanut shells, avocado shells, these bones that uh, have sent through, I think, two or three times. But this material in here looks really good. I'm not seeing any worms, really. See this one right here? No, it's a piece of something else. It's not a worm. All right. All right, I think I see my first worm here. Just covered it up. And my first worm kind of came out of here, right over here. Here we go, here's another one. So now, this is sort of emptied out a lot. We took out some material. We're going to go ahead and seal this back up now. We just pull this away from the lid, or the uh, lid, the bottom here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and close this back up and zip it shut. And we'll go back to the top here. We're going to add more material, more food. We're going to get this going again. So with that, let me just go ahead and bring this back up here. <laughs> There we go. That was a quick harvest on this system. We got a lot out here. Um, 
As I said, I don't really want to collapse down the entire center, but we got a lot of material that came out. We'll take a look at this up top, and then we'll go into the system and start harvest or uh, feeding the system after this harvest. So let's go up top. All right. So let's start here by taking a look at the food that we've got left in here and how all this material looks. But look how, look how nice this material is in here. I mean, really, as I said, you can squeeze it. I could probably get a drop of water up, but look at that. It forms into a ball and then flakes right apart. This is the perfect consistency that you're looking for. This material looks great. I'm wondering if this might actually be cocoa coir instead of the, the standard cardboard that I have in here, although I am finding pieces of plastic and a couple things that aren't finished, like this avocado seed. And there was another couple of pieces of plastic. Some of these peanut shells, I really thought that these would break down. I was hoping that they would, but they are not. So we're going to have to filter those out. And I'll do that a little bit later. But I mean, like this material just looks great. I only saw like a few worms in here. So the compression on this system works pretty well um, for the, the, the bottom. But I mean, like you just see this material looks great. Uh, very impressed. Uh, I will go through this and add any of these, this stuff back to the bin later, such as this avocado seed, but most of it looks like it is all composted. Oh, here's an avocado shell, another bit of shell, but that stuff takes a while to break down, but this stuff just looks phenomenal. You know, it's, it, as I said, it's, it's may, maybe slightly too moist, but it's really at that, it's right around that perfect moisture content you're looking for in a, in a system. Right, here we go, there's a worm right here. So there are a couple worms that maybe made it through, but not too many. I mean, but this is quite a bit of material to get for a harvest. I probably could have gotten more, but I was worried about, uh, you know, starting to knock down this center section, which I've done before. And then all of a sudden you have all this stuff falling through that you don't really want. But this looks really, really good in here. Really impressed with the system and how well it's done this. So with that, let's put this off to the side and let's take a look at the bin itself or bag system itself. All right, here we are at the top of the system. Let's open this up. And ooh, I forgot to take the, uh, the cup out of there before we emptied it. That was not a good idea. That could have fallen over and really gotten stuff dirty in here. Now, I do want to show you here on this top. You see all this gray dust here? Those are actually, I think, dead springtails. So there's a whole bunch over there and over here. And when I move it, you can see that this is... Like, I'm not adding dust into here, and I can't imagine that dust is building up quite like that. So these are dead springtails. Actually, let me see if I can just bring this up to you so you can see a little bit. See right there. Can you see that? I don't know if that's focusing or not, but look at that. Those are dead springtails, I'm pretty sure. So I'm just going to go ahead and dump those in there. Really, I don't think that's going to harm them. Now let's just take a look at this bottom side. Looks pretty good. A little bit of more. Not, not much moisture on there, but there's some baby worms. Look at this. Just zoom in on one of these guys right over here. Baby worm right oops, there. You can see, sorry, I'm blocking the light here. But yeah, there's a baby worm right there. So there's a couple baby worms on this cover. Move that off to the side. And let's start digging in here and taking a look. Um, first off, seeing a couple fruit flies. But, you know, that can happen in any system. A couple worms on top. There's lots of these pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin plant that was growing. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. Bury it back in. There's a piece of plastic right there. As I said, I don't know where this plastic came from, and I've been trying to get rid of it out of my systems, and it just seems to, I think it just kind of rotates in here when I fold them over like this. But look at all these worms. Look at this. Nice, healthy system of worms. Doing a great job. Oh, hold on. Another fruit fly right there. Um, they look great. Lots of them on here. It's a great sign. I think I, I think I fed on this side last time, but this time we're going to do a massive top-down feeding. Let me just see, can I turn these lights up anymore? No, these, are, these lights are up all the way. I was hoping I'd make it a little bit brighter. It looks a little dark on the camera, but it's hard for me to tell. It'll help a little bit. Um, but look at, I mean, look at this material. I'm not sure what this is right here. Looks like a piece of paper almost or something, or... But it's probably a skin of something, if I had to guess. The material in here just, it all looks great. It looks like there's very little paper left. We've still got a mango seed in here. Let's just pull this out of the way. So that one section over here had a lot of worms. I'm not seeing too many others, though. All this material, again, is just flaking apart. Oh, there we go. We found that bottom section, <laughs> which is what I was worried about. Look at all the worms in there. Look at that. In fact, you know what? I think we're going to just zoom down just a little bit further. There we go. 
So this right here is where every stuff is start, starting to fall through, which is what I always worry about with these systems. You, you dig out that center section and then it collapses down. And then all of a sudden you get a ton of stuff coming out the bottom. What is this right here? Oh, there's, a, there's that seed. Look at that. Let's see, you can see there's a chunk here. Just breaks right apart in my hands. Great looking material. Really, I mean, I could probably put this through a sorting machine and just be done with it. But look at this. We've got more corn over there that's done. There's something right here. Oh, this is a grape stem. These take a long time to break down these grape stems, but that's fine. We'll leave it in there. You can just see, I mean, this is, this is almost all composted now. I think, actually, we might have fed in this front section, I think. And yes, we did. Look at this. Look at them all over here working on this this, on this, this stuff over here. I mean, you can just see there's tons of them over here. So let's just dig up this front section a little bit more. There's no food left except for those coffee grounds that they're working on. They are probably desperate for food in here at this point. Um, and there's nothing else in here. So it's been, uh, oh man, I got some on my watch. Um, it's been a while since we fed in here and they just look, they look like they're doing really, really well. Um, I don't think this needs a, a uh, I don't think the, the issues with this system are there anymore, but this system just looks great. And this was cardboard at the top. I mean, I don't think this was cocoa coir or anything like that. And the, this, this material just looks fantastic. Um, again, another piece of plastic in here. Take that one out too. So with that, let's start on the feeding. So the first thing we're going to do before we feed is I'm going to, and we're going to do a massive top feeding this time. Is I'm going to take some dry cardboard in here. I'm going to just kind of throw some dry cardboard in on the top. Just, just some, not a whole lot. I don't want you know a tremendous amount in here. Just a little bit to kind of cover everything up. Give a place for the uh, a little bit more any moisture and stuff to kind of absorb, so it doesn't just get absorbed into the bedding. And as I said, we're going to add wet cardboard on top of the food to kind of weigh it down. So there we go. There's that. A good amount of cardboard in there. Just throw that one in too. Now, for food, we're, as I said, we're going to add a lot of food this time. So our first feeding right here, and actually we've got something else in here too. I think I'm going to take this out. This is a sponge. These are these are natural sponges. This is supposed to be cocoa coir, I think, or some sort of coconut husk on the top. And, you know, sponges are typically, uh, typically, typically compostable, but I'm going to throw that off to the side for now. I think I'll throw that in a different system. Um, but we've got banana, we've got orange or clementine, and let's just go ahead and dump this over. Dump all that stuff out in here. Hold on, a little bit left in here. Let's we'll scrape this out a little bit. There we go. It looked like there were some peppers. So we got a pepper right here with seeds. So we're probably going to get some pepper plants growing in here. You know, that happens. Uh, it looks like we have a tomato. Which means we'll probably have a tomato plant growing in here, apple, banana. As I said, there's clementines. Coffee grounds. All right. Get move on this stuff, trying to break it down. This helps if it's broken apart and spread out a little bit instead of being in a pile. And this is the way really, and, and I know other people have said it, this is the way you're supposed to be feeding these systems. I don't typically do it because of the fact that I'm typically you would kind of do small feedings or really large feedings and leave it for a while. And it's harder for me to do with video content and things like that. But we're going to try it with both of these systems now before we cover this up. Though We're going to grab another one of these. So we've got another one right here. Same stuff. Um, carrots, it looks like, and strawberries in here as well. All right, there we go. So, again, this is a massive, massive feeding. We've got bananas, we've got lots of tea leaves over here, um, strawberries, more coffee grounds. We go through a lot of coffee in the house. Now, I've got these twinning tea bags now that I've been adding to these systems. They seem to be breaking down fully, which is great. I've Thought that they had some plastic in them or staples and stuff, but they appears they do not. So I'm glad to see that, so I can just throw them in and not have to worry about them. There we go. Got a full carrot right here that was rotting apart. Lots of carrot skins. Again, some more 
banana. We've got tons of bananas. We go through lots of bananas. Another carrot. And the reason why, by the way, just so you guys know, these aren't carrots aren't something that was like, oh, you know, I just let them go bad. They, um, we've had some that have gone bad in the pack or were bad in the center of the packs that we've been buying lately um, that we didn't notice. We buy lots of carrots. So there we go. Another tea bag over here as well. And we just kind of break this apart a little bit more. The other thing I'm trying to do is just sort of lay all this down. Since it is frozen, it's going to fall. It should all collapse down, but I don't want to have something sticking out a lot. There we go. I think that's pretty good. I think that's as good as I'm going to be able to do. Now, next thing I want to do, and yes, I should be wearing a mask, and if it was not down in this system, I would be. I'm going to add some crushed crab and eggshell, and actually we're going to add quite a bit because this is all fresh food right here. Lots of it. So there we go. And now for the next part, I'm going to add a little bit more dry bedding just to kind of cover this up a little bit. Not a whole lot, just a, just a little bit covered up. And now we're going to add this wet bedding. And I I showed that in my last video, I mixed this up. This has some lactic acid, lactic acid bacteria in it, or lab bacteria, with water. And I use distilled water to make sure that there's no like chlorine or anything in here. And we're going to go ahead and dump this in as well. Yes, this has some water in it which is perfectly fine. This cardboard is wet. So there we go. I'm just going to kind of scrape the cardboard out of here real quick. Oops. I need to crush the plastic on there. Sorry about the noise. So now we're going to go ahead and spread this around. And I'm hoping that this will add some bacteria that the worms can eat that's already on the cardboard and sort of help it out a little bit. I did not inoculate it with any sugar or anything, which I know is supposed to be able to help, but I did not do that. Let me just dump that out. There's a little bit more left in here. Now, I will, I will say you don't want a huge pile of cardboard. I know people have said it's fine. It is not fine to have cardboard in your house that is soaking wet without having worms or something in it. So this container will have a little bit of cardboard left in it, but it will dry out pretty quickly. So I'm not too worried about it because there's not a lot in there and it'll dry out. But if you just have a soaking pile of cardboard in your house, you will get mold. And mold is really, really bad. We have had relatives that have had issues with mold in their houses before. It's a bad thing to have in your house. So I think we're going to throw a little bit more paper on top of this that's dry because it's all the wet paper I've got. A little bit more than I wanted to, but that's okay. <laughs> this is all going to go. I'm, I guarantee that this is all going to just dissolve into here with how things are. But because I added a little bit more, um, more of that dry cardboard, I think I'm going to add a little bit of water from the top to the top here. Let me just grab my sprayer just to get this cardboard wet on the top. I don't want to put too much because I don't want it to soak through. So we're just going to spray this down. And for anybody that's curious about making lactic acid bacteria, I'm hoping to maybe make a demo of it later. There are plenty of videos on YouTube you can look up. Um, if I do create one, I'll try to link it up top, but I have not created one yet. It was, this is my first time ever making it, and I wasn't sure it was going to work. It seems to work. I don't know if it's going to work well or not. I haven't tried it in Bakashi. So there we go. That's this system. And that's our update for this week. Let me put the plastic tarp back on top to hold this moisture in. Just like that. And as we did an entire top feeding... It doesn't really matter where we put this, but we're just going to put it in that same corner over here. And we're going to go ahead and close this up. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have questions or concerns, please let me know down below in the comments. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.